Hello everybody, this is your time again here and welcome back to another Halo Fans review and I guess now we're gonna be talking about spoiler review, you know, I'm gonna be talking about like what's the good and the bad about the movie and then probably try to go in detail about them obviously because you know spoiler right um and before we begin I just want to say thank you for everybody who watched my Halloween ends review you know I did not expect to get that many uh, many views in the <laughs> in my review because usually when I, I review a movie it's just like I don't know like 10 people watches you know which is okay and you know because like the video wasn't that great anyway but for some reason <laughs> in the Halloween ends review has so many people watching and so has so many people like you know comment on my video which is like wow you know thank you guys thank you thank you so much for that i guess i guess i got lucky that time um so we'll see if people are going to watch this video but either way i just want to make the video anyway because you know i i was a big fan of halloween you know i just want to discuss about the obviously besides the spoiler review for the movie let's just be real even though michael myers quote-unquote die in this movie um he's go he's gonna come back in a, in another timeline basically right? they're gonna do like another timeline thing yeah, so let's just get straight into like the good part about the the Halloween ends. You know, I guess the good part about this is that um the specifically the character of Corey Cunningham, you know, is like the the main focus of this uh or like or main focus on my review here because again they decided to introduce this character in the in the end of a trilogy, which is a super weird and bizarre choices. But I feel like there's a good and a bad uh, idea for that, you know, the good part is that I feel like uh, Corey's storyline is actually pretty interesting and actually pretty tragic in my opinion, um, because it seems like, you know, like you see in the in the beginning, like he's trying to babysit a kid, which is the kid is, is just an asshole to be fair, um, and then he accidentally killed the kid, you know, which, I, which, I, which just shocked many people, I'm assuming, right, and then because of that, it kind of driven him into this path that it's just like, you know, he was hopeless the entire time he met uh, Allison right and then he think that oh yeah maybe there is hope you know maybe there is indeed hope in the in the in my life you know uh, maybe I can recover actually and that didn't work out obviously like he still got bullied by some people you know some people call him like a you know murderer and stuff like that right and then uh, his life truly changed for the worse when he met Michael Myers you know and you know, and again, um, there is this scene where Michael Myers and Corey kind of like stare into each other eyes you know and I think that's just the way the movie's uh, saying that, well, Corey, that in that moment, Corey got infected, you know, quote-unquote infected by Michael Myers, you know, evil and stuff like that, right? I think that's what I'm getting from the scene, you know, because I, they also show the, the flashback of him, like, accidentally killing a, a kid, you know? So I think Michael Myers kind of, like, know that, oh, like, this guy, Corey, also killed a kid, you know? And it's like, oh, like, maybe maybe he he has some... Uh, he sensed some uh, familiarity with 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 Corey, you know, and that's why I think Michael Myers kind of let him go, you know. It's like something brand new for the characters, you know. Like, and again, this is a thirteen Halloween movie, so I'm I'm down with something new, but I just think that decision is like it's like um doesn't work if it was a trilogy, right? I feel like this idea would work if for a new Halloween movie, because imagine if you see Corey, you know, like imagine if this was like a brand new. Halloween movie by a brand new director and a brand new actor and then the main character Corey Cunningham is is the main focus and then he got infected by Michael Myers you know the whole movie is basically just like him and Michael Myers tagged him together you know um which is bring me to my next point that I feel like the the way they can uh quote unquote fix this movie so people won't get so pissed off is that I feel like I'm fine with the idea of Corey and Michael I not teaming up you know because I feel like uh, when that when that happens in the movie where he basically wear uh, like a uh, like what is it like a scarecrow mask I think right and then you know Michael Myers pops up and then kill the girl you know which is obviously a callback to Bob's death in the original Halloween. Um, I thought I actually kind of like that. I know people hate that because you know it, it was so out of character for Michael Myers, which I agree. Michael Myers would never work with someone you know because he is the embodiment you know embodiment of evil right right and I feel like. Uh, that was indeed out of character, you know, but for me, it was like, okay, this is something new that I quite like. And so the reason is because, you know, I never seen any, like, slasher character, like, working with other people. Except maybe Chucky, you know, because Chucky kind of, like, working with other people, but he is still manipulative. And I think, um, I like the idea of, like, Michael Myers working together with someone else. And they be pretty much become partners, you know, tag team and stuff like that. I know people don't like that, but I kind of down for the idea, to be honest. You know? And I think... Uh, which leads me to my next point is that the, to fix the movie is like, well, 
it's simple you know just don't make Cory took Michael's mask you know because there is a scene where Cory just like walks into the sewer and then like have a fight with Michael Myers and then he just like took the mask off and this is what I what I meant when I said the when I was like completely bummed out of the movie it's like well I know that the rest of the scene is is not Michael Myers then it's Corey Cunningham you know which is sucks you know I mean it's it's a fun kill it's a fun scene and then John Carpenter's score is amazing but it's not Michael Myers in that uh, in that junkyard scene and then the radio tower scene as well you know and it's like yeah I mean it's it's fun for what it is but I kind of wish there was Michael Myers you know instead of like Corey you know and, and that's why I kind of like bummed out you know by the movie it's just ah oh, man come on like don't don't do Michael like that you know like you 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 sideline Michael in this movie, you know, and I think the simplest way to fix that is like, well, I mean, they kind of set up that Corey and Michael working together anyway, right? I mean, they have two kills together, you know, like the um, like obviously the first one is like the cop, I think they used to date Allison, and then Corey just like lead him into the sewer, and then like Michael just like step out, and I think that's that's his first kill in four years, and then you kind of see Michael's reaction that you know he, he's like shaking and stuff like that, which is like I think. That's like a way for the filmmaker to tell that, well, you know, Michael got like uh, basically revived or like got the energy back when he start killing people again, you know, he he has that feeling back, you know, and then because usually he's like, uh, you know, before he, before he kills uh, the officer, the cop, uh, he's like stumbling around, you know, like he was like an old man, basically. He's like 65, I think, right, in, in this timeline, I think, or 64, I think, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, the point is he was like 60 years old and he was like, Man, I think uh, James Duke Courtney performance as the old Michael Myers was actually amazing. You know, I know people hate that. I I get that, but um, it is something new for the character that he's just like stumbling around like an old man basically, and then when he start killing again, that's where he gets the his strength back. You know, his energy back. And obviously, we move on to the house where he also killed with Michael Myers, Corey and Michael Myers. You know, I, I thought that that's where the movie is headed. You know, I thought that. Or he's gonna like uh take Michael. I thought when he he went back to the sewer, I was like ex excited, you know, because like, I was like, oh okay, like this is Halloween night, right? It's October thirty first. We're gonna see Corey and Michael teaming up, you know, and then in in Halloween night, that would be awesome, you know. And then he just proceeded to take the mask, you know, and like, you know, like you just a man in a Halloween mask. Don't don't do Michael like that, you know. Um, because he was pretty much like maskless until like the end, you know. Even though I mean, you barely you you never even see him until like the end of the movie, which is a uh, it just sucks, you know, in my opinion. Um, so I think the best way to fix that is like, well, you know, make Michael Myers and Corey just working together. Like, imagine in a, in a junkyard, uh, you got Michael killing another, like the other guy, and then Corey just like driving the truck and stuff like that. And then you see Michael like thumping the the girl's hat, you know, like that was actually Michael Myers instead of like Corey in a Michael suit, you know. Um, uh, so I think that's the best way to do that, you know. Same thing with the radio tower. Like the two of them could just like walk together and then like tag team you know Corey killed a girl or something like that and then Michael can like walk up and then like smash the radio guys out Willie the kid I think right um um and I know that people like that's not that's not the best way to fix that you know I know that the best way to fix this is that making the movie focus on Michael Myers and Laurie Strode you know because it was part of their saga you know and then I think the movie was mismarketed because like you know like um Mike you know this is supposed to be a Michael Myers and Laurie Strode saga you know their saga ends you know and then this doesn't feel, this movie doesn't feel like a Laurie Strode and Michael Myers saga, you know, until like the last 10 minutes, basically, which is great, but it's just like, come on, man, it's like, it's like a, a throwaway scene almost, you know, because like you focus so much on this new character, and, you know, by doing that, by doing Corey and Michael tag team, I know that's, I know people don't like that, but at least we get to see more Michael Myers in that scene, you know, um, I actually, I'm actually down for that, to be honest, you know, until like the end where like, Corey kind of like get killed by Laurie, right? And then eventually, you know, Michael kind of like took over the, you know, the scene, you know, and then because Corey dies, you know, and then the fight scene happened, you know, and then obviously make the fight scene a bit longer, to be fair, because the fight scene was like too short, in my opinion. Like, I like the fight scene, but it's just like, hmm, too short, you know, in my opinion. Um, But yeah, I think, um, I think that's all I can say, guys, you know, because like, again, like I... <sighs> This movie, it would be good if this was a brand new Halloween movie, you know, the idea of like a new guy teaming up with Michael Myers, like I'm down to see that, you know, because it is something new, but the fact they kind of like introduced that in, in the end of a trilogy is like, it, like it's, it's a bad decision because like you already established a bunch of characters from the previous movie that, and they kind of they kind of like get sidelined, you know, for example, Lindsay Wallace and uh, Officer Hawkins or like Frank Hawkins, right? 
uh, played by Carl Richards and then Will Patton. Um, they both got silent in this movie because I was kind of excited to see Lindsay back into the franchise again, right? And then in Halloween Kiss, like he he she appears, she fight Michael, and then that's it, you know. Um, she she gets 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 thrown away, and then I thought that oh okay, I I kind of want to see what uh, Lindsay is gonna be doing in Halloween Ends, and then he she just barely has any scene, you know. She she barely matters into the story, to be fair, you know, and she doesn't have any encounter with Michael Myers. Um, which to be fair, Michael Myers is also barely in this movie, which is a big problem for many people, and I don't like that, you know. And it's like, yeah, I just, that's why it, it kind of bummed me out, you know. I mean, rewatching the movie, I still found the movie enjoyable, weirdly, but it's like, you know, as a trilogy, it's like, it's not good. <laughs> it's really not good, you know. But, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that was, um, that was my uh, spoiler review for Halloween Ends. Um, again, I know that, uh, thank you for people who, are, who watched the, the previous, um, in a Halloween uh, video because like I I did not expect that many people to watch my Halloween answer review you know like oh thank you so much for that guys I really appreciate that um, and uh, hopefully people will watch this review again but I guess we'll see <laughs> who knows right I think I don't think I'm gonna get a second uh, lock in the in the channel or video to be fair but either way I just want to make a, a spoiler review because I, again I'm a big fan of this movie and then I just my own thoughts out you know finally the spoiler discussion and thing um, and I think the next video, um, I want to talk about the future of Halloween, but I think, I think I'm going to talk about that in, in a separate video, you know, because I think it would be just better if I just like make one video focusing on that element, you know, so there you go. Um, but either guys, uh, thank you for watching this Halloween Ends review, uh, you know, a spoiler review, so I guess since you guys already watched the movie, then you guys can tell me in the comment section below what do you guys think about this movie, do you guys hate it, do you guys like it, you know, do you guys find it enjoyable, you know, what do you guys think about Corey Cunningham's character? Do you guys like the character or do you guys hate the character? You know, let me know about that in the comment section below. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, ring the bell for notification. Uh, stay tuned for the next Halloween and uh, Halloween video, which, which is gonna be again, uh, which is gonna be uh, me talking about the the future of the Halloween franchise. Because let's be real, they're not gonna end the franchise. They're gonna continue this franchise, and they're gonna bring back Michael Myers in another timeline. Which I'm really, I just want to share my ideas for this next timeline where, where they're gonna do you know or maybe another remake who knows right um but either way guys that's it for the video again thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for people who already support the channel i really appreciate that guys so much and if you guys want to you guys can become a member of the channel by clicking the join button below and uh yeah see you guys uh next in another halloween video uh we'll see when that when that's gonna come out but either way guys uh that's it for today's video and uh, again i'll see you guys in the next video then Bye.